Now this is a question on complex number uh, where it says find the value of a and b so, uh, so, so that the polynomial, this is a polynomial, has roots z is equal to 3 and z is equal to i. So let's write the polynomial which is z cubed plus a z squared plus 3 plus i times z plus b is equal to 0. And one of the value of z is 3 and the other value is i. Okay, so before I start, one thing that I need to clarify if this can be confusing. Uh, uh, you got one root is 3 and the other root is i. Okay, so according to the conjugate root theorem, if one root is i, the other root should be minus i. And also, the, there is a, a geometry between the roots. Uh, if there are three roots, the three roots are at an angle of 120. Now, that cannot be applied here because conjugate root theorem or the geometry of roots is true only when you have uh, real numbers as coefficient. Now, one thing that you can see very clearly, this is not a real number. This is a complex number. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this in this and see what happens. So if you put z is equal to 3 in this, so this is 3 cubed, so that's going to be 27 plus a times 3 squared, that's going to be 9a, plus 3 plus i times 3, 3 times i times, sorry, 3 plus i times 3 plus b is equal to 0. So expanding this further, so this is 9a plus b, 9a plus b plus 27 plus 9 plus 3i is equal to 0. So we can write the first equation 9a plus b is equal to this is how much this is going to be 36. So this is minus 36 minus 3i. So this is one of the simultaneous equation. Okay. So what's the next value? The next value is z is equal to i. z is equal to i. So let's put this again in this equation. So what will happen? So this will let me put the value of i. So this is i cube plus a times i squared, a i squared, plus this is going to be 3 plus i times i plus b is equal to 0. Now i cube, so let me explain i cube. i cube is i squared times i. And what is i squared? i squared is negative 1 times i, which is going to be minus i. So i cube is going to be minus i. This is going to be minus a. I hope you understand this because i squared is negative 1, so minus a. Now then plus 3i min plus i squared plus b is equal to 0. So this I can say this is minus a plus b. This is minus a plus b. Then this is plus 3i minus i is going to be plus 2i. And this is going to be minus 1 is equal to 0. So now I can say this is minus a plus b is equal to 1 minus 2i. So if I swap this around instead of minus a plus b, if I multiply the whole thing by negative 1, I can write this as a minus b is equal to minus 1 plus 2i. So these are two simultaneous equations, and we need to just solve these two equations. So let's solve this. So let me write the bigger equation first. So 9a plus b is equal to minus 36 minus 3i, and a minus b is minus 1 plus 2i. So what will happen? So this is simple simultaneous equation. So this is 10a 
is equal to, I hope you can do the rest yourself, so this is minus 37 plus i, minus i, sorry, minus 37, minus i. Just adding it, so 9a plus a is 10a, minus 36 minus 1 is minus 37, minus 3i plus 2i is minus i. So this implies a is going to be minus 37 minus i divided by 10. And now you have to figure out what is b by solving for b. So let me drag this up. So let me use a different color. So what do we know? a minus b is equal to this. <coughs> so let us rewrite. a minus b is minus 1 plus 2i. So let's put uh, this. Okay, so this is, what is a? a I can write as minus 37 over 10. So let me distribute this in the real part and imaginary part. Minus 27 over 10 minus i over 10 minus b is equal to minus, let me write this as 10 over 10. I'm going to multi I'm multiplying both by 10. So this is plus 20i over 10. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So making b the subject. So this is making b the subject. So minus this is minus 37 over 10 uh, plus 10 over 10 minus i over 10 minus 20i over 10 is equal to b. I'm making b the subject. So basically b, I'm adding b to both sides and adding the opposite of this two on the both sides. So minus 10 over 10 became plus 10 over 10 and plus 20i over 10 becomes minus 20i over 10. So this implies b is, simplifying this, this is minus 27, this is minus 27, minus 21i over 10. So these are the values of a and b. Okay, so this is a bit crazy question, but once you don't get uh, sidetracked by conjugate uh, theorem, conjugate root theorem, it is pretty simple. You have to just substitute z as 3 and z as i and solve for a and b.